Hey, welcome, Jay Fazette here with another Mastermind Monday. Now, this topic is one of my nearest, dearest, and um, most complex and most valuable topics. And it is this, facilitating skills. Now, at the end of the day, there is a multitude of reasons why people say masterminds don't work or a mastermind group fell apart. Now, I'm going to shoot as straight as I can with you, which is this. Most of the reasons that people say masterminds fail, which sounds a little bit like commitment, like it just fizzled, like all of those stories, which I'm sure that you have heard, you've probably participated in a mastermind where that happened. I'm gonna tell you the truth. The reason is this, the person leading it was a shitty facilitator. That, by the way, might be you. And I'm not trying to poke you, but I am trying to call you to a higher standard. Because here's the honest to God truth. In masterminds, we have these crazy elements, and these crazy elements are called people. Now, masterminds could work potentially better if there weren't people and they were all like stuffed animals, because there would be less conflict, there would be less disagreements, there would be less friction, there would be less drama. But here's the honest to God truth. If you're going to put more than one human being in a room, well, frankly, just even one human being. I, I, saw, I saw a really <laughs> cute thing the other day. I, I gotta share it with you because it's pertinent to this. It's like, I hate it when the, <laughs> I hate it when the voices in my head are quiet because I never know what those bastards are planning. <laughs> so, it's a bad joke, but I like it. Um, so when we have any more than one person, we have the natural friction, the natural conflict, the natural challenges of two human beings trying to get their needs met within a relationship. And here's the honest God truth, is that if we add a third person, it doesn't just go up a little bit, it goes up exponentially because now there's relationship A, relationship B, and then there's relationship A and relationship C, and then there's relationship B and C, and then there is relationship A, B, and C, and that dynamic continues to get exponentially more complicated every single person that we add. So here's what occurs is that in most masterminds, people want to, you know, operate under the assumption that everything's going to be rainbows and unicorns and it's going to be fantastic and amazing. And it always starts that way because we're always excited. It's like, oh, they're rock stars and we love them. It's going to be fantastic. But it goes awry. And it, here's, the, here's the little hint. It's supposed to go awry. That is part of the learning experience. But where it really goes awry is that when the friction starts, when the challenges happen, when there is this up and down thing that's a little bit weird, most people without real facilitator skills duck and cover. It's like, oh, it's gonna be okay. Oh, we'll get over it. Oh, it'll be all right. Or stick their head in the sand and pretend that nothing happened in the first place. And the honest to God truth is this. If you can hone your facilitator skills, if you can have some of the difficult conversations, if you can handle the space for people to disagree, if you can create um, activities, exercises, and processes that are going to manage the energy, the up and the down commitment that actually happens, and do what we call manage the dips and co-create the turns. So manage the dips, we recognize it happens, and help turn that around. That becomes one of the most valuable aspects of a mastermind. So here is my invitation to you to consider this, is that masterminds don't fail because of lack of commitment. Poor facilitating created lack of commitment. And if you want your groups to be head and shoulders above what the norm is, it's very simple. You must hone your facilitator skills. Now, this is where I want to invite you to make sure that you come to our live event, Mastermind to Millions Live. It's coming up in Vegas. It is going to knock your socks off. It is going to be astounding. And really, you need to go to mastermindtomillionslive.com, get your ticket and get your butt to the event. It is going to knock your socks off. You will learn more about facilitating those three days than most people learn in their entire lifetime. And it will make a monumental difference for your mastermind groups. I look forward to seeing you there. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next Monday. We're, oh, by the way, we're going to see you next Monday where we are going to talk about, what are we talking about? This is facility. We're going to talk about creating compelling content, which by the way, requires great facilitator skills. So we'll see you next Monday.